right, I think I, we have members from, from every team here, so let's start. Um, so yeah, regarding mainnets and automatic withdrawals, there's not much progress. Um, I mean, we've decided to go with the opt-in solution and we're uh, slowly starting to implement that, but there's nothing concrete yet. It's uh, one huge priority though, so it's going to be here probably for end of this week. Uh, regarding Hive tests, um, so from what I know from Igor, there's some issues with uh, Nevermind versions um, larger than 1.19.7, uh, three, sorry. So starting 1.20, apparently um, on Hive, it doesn't sync anymore. Uh, as far as I know, at least nodes that are that started from 1.20 can actually sync the entire network, uh, but there seems to be an issue with Hive tests. Uh, maybe that would be a good thing to, to check those, though. Uh, and in the 1.20 versions, basically the post Chapella block uh, doesn't sync and can get executed. So, yeah. There's also apparently still some failed uh, withdrawal tests, but I'm not quite sure which ones. So, I guess I'd give uh, Marcus the, the mic for, for the updates. Marcus, we can't hear you. Yeah, I mean, you can see that you're talking. <laughs> we can't hear you. Okay, well, okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, the, the the tests that are failing are the rear test, and Igor is already taking care of it, and looks like it's something related to the uh, that we wasn't waiting properly for the Chapella fork. Uh, we will take later on the channel what is the output of that. Uh, um, on my end, I have been trying. To, uh, I started to work on merging the latest changes from the hype repository, which we are a little bit uh, outdated uh, regarding that. Uh, well, that's mostly all for that. About the, the, the error, I will provide later a, a, a summary of what is going on between the different versions and which is the specific test that are failing. OK, perfect. Thank you. Um, all right, then regarding research and literalized beacon chain, um, so there's just, as, it, as for information, there's like a potential competitor that also does, um, or at least project that does something similar, which is um, protected block space. Well, yeah, encrypted block space without having like a centralized uh, infrastructure, which we're going to look into. Um, but yeah, it's not directly relevant to anyone here. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to client updates. So never mind. Yeah, we just started uh, exploring and researching the Shatterash chain, but no major updates so far. So it's in an early stage. The what? Sorry, I didn't get that. And we just started uh, developing the Shatterash chain, but uh, we don't have any much updates on this as of now. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, Aragon? Uh, we are still busy with uh, finishing bits and pieces of Dankun. Okay. Uh, yes, you. Yeah. Um, well, I'm pretty much at a dead end right now. I'm waiting for a couple of things to, to unblock me, hopefully. So what I described last week was uh, I was saying like I have the proper state to begin with. I execute the transition, the transaction. I see that all the state updates correspond, but I get the, the wrong route. Uh, so based on that, I made some experiments. And one of them was to revert, uh, like write the old values and I get the state root again. So I confirm, sorry, the initial state root. So I confirm that my state is correct. I uh, had already a few discussions with uh, Andrew 
about uh, making sure that uh, I was not missing any transactions, so, sorry, any updates to the state. So as far as we can tell, all the updates are correct, and yet I get the wrong state. Um, so I'm a bit at, lo at a loss right now. I I'm looking into two other ways, uh, two ways to explore. One of them is to uh, just uh, well, switch to Chiado because the state is really big. So, um, you know, maybe uh, like the, the okay. Let me rephrase that. the The biggest problem I have right now is that I have the pre-state, I have the updates, and I and the final state I get is wrong. So, what I'd like to do is a diff, but this is the the state I'm working on is so old that no one can provide me with a new state uh, with the the post state basically, or even the even the the archive notes uh, can't really generate this. So uh, what I want to do now is uh, do the same thing but on Shadow, which has a smaller state, and get two consecutive states so that I can finally do that bisecting in the tree and figure out where uh, where this goes wrong. The problem is Tanish was sick, so I'm waiting for him to to come back. And, uh, and provide me with this. And uh, otherwise, yeah, tomorrow I'm having a call with Andrew to brainstorm this problem and uh, maybe maybe uh, we'll get a better idea on how to proceed. But the way it looks is either there's a bug in the in the client that produced this state or there's something that doesn't show up in the in the state divs that is uh, that is there because otherwise uh, from what i can tell it's correct so yeah um hopefully uh, hoping those two avenues will uh, will provide something but right now uh, it's not looking good uh, yeah that's it all right thank you for the updates if there's anything we can do to help of course keep it up to date <laughs> If you can prov provide me with a full state, uh, full post state of uh, of a given block, uh, yes, that would then block me. But I don't think it's possible, so that's why I'm going to explore uh, shadow and uh, and yeah, a smaller state and something more recent. All right. Uh, well, is there can Aragon or the domains do that somehow? So Nethermind, uh, I'm not aware of any state. I guess we could, uh, yeah, if Nethermind could actually do a full sync and stop at, at this given block, uh, I guess we could do this and do the dump again. Um, yeah, that would be a possibility. Uh, Ruben, can you maybe comment on that? Because I mean, stopping a sync at some block, I'm sure is uh, quite trivial. Can we export the state as well? Or Marek, yes? Yeah, so basically you need to stop CL after being in sync and you have another mind stopped on the block, on some block. So no problem at all. Right, yeah. I think, I... sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Well, the question was just, I guess, uh, can we also export the entire state then for two consecutive blocks after that, or? Exactly. Two consecutive with blocks after that yeah what, uh, what so what what i need is like i have the pre-state i know it's correct mm -hmm. uh, I, I execute all the transactions all the transactions produce the right uh, updates three updates at least those that i can get from uh you know the the state diff uh, api call in, in aragon but the final route I have is incorrect. So I want to know something is missing somewhere. And I want to be able to compare the tree I get from the tree that Nethermind uh, produces. Um, mm -hmm. And so I would need to dump the tree. Like I know it's possible because Tanishk has done it for me once, but it was mm -hmm. just one block. I would need the pre state and the post state, basically. Yeah. I, I So you should be able to, if you stop, on a certain block, you should be able to uh, go back even 64 blocks. So not, not a problem at all. Uh, I'm not sure if I got you. Well, OK, the, there's an extra complication is that I need it to be pre Chapella. Uh, although I could, I, I was okay. yeah, I was going to implement Chapella, the Chapella contracts, because you know, I will have to eventually. But I was trying to keep uh, it simple and not have to add extra well, in that case, on the archive node, unfortunately. Yeah, but would the archive node be able to dump? Like, oh, you mean a Nethermind archive node? Yes, I mean Nethermind archive node. 
So is someone running an another mind archive node? Because I know uh, Gateway is only running arrogant ones. Mm. We probably don't have one. We are running only if we need to test something, for example. So mm -hmm. maybe someone from Gnosis uh, has. I think I remember talking about this with DevOps and us having one, but I'm not entirely sure. But I will start think now and then hopefully we'll have one at some point. Mm. Yeah. Don't you think so that uh, implementing Shapella will be? We current, mm, you know. Yeah, it, I mean, ideally, yes. That's assuming I don't make any uh, mistake in implementing Chappella, of course. Well, okay, I have no, the post state. I have the post state, so uh, it doesn't matter. I will find out immediately. Mm. Um, okay, now fine. Or, I think. Or, I th yeah. Why not Shadow, for example? Maybe this will be the way for it's you. Exactly. I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, uh, then you can uh, sync Nethermind even locally archive node with Shadow, probably. It shouldn't be mm -hmm. that problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just willing. Okay. Uh, I, I might do this. Uh, I mean, Tanish said it would it would be easy to, to do that. Uh, like he could do that for me, so it's even better. But uh, yeah, if he's not uh, responding, I'll do this. Uh, like, I know, I know he's sick, so I don't want to overload him. Um, okay, cool. Now I think I think it's clear what what needs to happen next. Thanks. So is, is it's an archive um, node enough? Like, I think that any block would that be good enough? If I implement, uh, I mean, if I implement uh, the the Chapella stuff, it would be any any block would be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I start to think then for uh, mainnet and shadow, but shadow, of course, will be way quicker, uh, and then I'll give you access to that. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right. Uh, Gateway, do you have any news? Um, not very big news, but we uh, found out yesterday that on uh, AMB and Omni Bridges, we have some missing transactions. And uh, seems like the reason is in one container that is constantly restarting. So we are investigating and fixing it today. All right. All right. Um, today, but it is working on this today. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Um, all right. Anything else to add? No, not for this thing at least. All right. Thank you. And uh, anyone else? Oh, sorry, uh, actually, I have a question because uh, for the Hive test, you, you mentioned that there is another mind versions after uh, this 193, uh, so the 120 something uh, that uh, does not sync. Uh, is it only with the Hive tests or is it in general? Uh, like the another mind versions like that has some issues? It looks like it's only regarding the Hive test. Only for Hive tests, right? Yeah. Okay. Like Thanks. We, because... we didn't face any issue with uh, with another my own protection. All right. Yeah. That's uh, all questions I had. Thanks. All right. Any other questions or comments? Uh, I have one about what we were just discussing before um, before this call. Um, I don't quite understand what the problem is with the SSZ because SSZ Max says sixteen. Uh, 16 uh, leaves in the tree for, for the withdrawals, but we're only using eight. Um, mm. Why? Well, I guess Ryan can explain that better, but it's because of the deep. No, the our tree, our, our tree one, has eight. Right. That's the problem. That's one the more tree depth. itself. The okay. tree is different, yes. But I mean, uh, okay, maybe I, uh, I'm missing the point here. Um, all right, because the right the tree is as depth of uh, eight, um, so it breaks some stuff. Like, I mean, ultimately, if the tree was sixteen, what would be the problem? Where where is the impact? For well, this? The, the hash is is different because you hash like a Merkle tree for with sixteen leaves instead of eight, so you have one more depth, no. and it just puts the eight on the I guess one side of the tree, and then everything else is, is empty, and then in, okay. in the end the root is different. 
Okay, I have to reread the SSZ spec, but okay, uh, okay, fine, uh, fair enough. If it's, if it's a hash being invalid, that's uh, that's what I, it is. I okay. mean, we verified this by just uh, running a fork of it and replacing the sixteen by eight and regenerating the code, and now it works. Mm -hmm. So it's it's okay. that for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. No, my, my question was more like, could you change the hash expectation somewhere else? But uh, yeah, it might be super complicated. Okay, fine. Thank you. I'll uh, I'll keep digging. Thank you. All right. Well, if there's nothing else, uh, then thanks for joining and see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.